Motorola Moto E13 Tips and Tricks Got Hidden and Special Features Hello my dear friends, how are you? I hope you are well and in the happiest condition today. Here is an important video with you, which is tips and tricks for the Motorola Moto E13 phone. Hidden and Special Features I hope you like it, but before watching, subscribe to the channel so that I can present to you everything that is new. And now let's follow the video. How to perform a hard reset on Motorola Moto E13. If you want to get rid of all unwanted data such as apps, media, and system files, follow the steps listed below. 1. First press the power button and the volume down button together for a few seconds. 2. Release all buttons as soon as you see fast boot mode. 3. Use the volume button to select recovery and use the power key to confirm it. 4. As soon as the Android robot appears press volume up and power key together. 5. Again use the volume button to select wipe data, factory data reset and the power button to confirm that. 6. Now select factory data reset by using volume button and press the power key to confirm that. 7. Once the reset is done, now select Reboot System now by using volume keys and confirm it by pressing the power button. How to perform a factory reset on Motorola Moto E13 Follow the steps to perform a factory reset on Motorola Moto E13. 1. Tap on the settings icon to open it. 2. Scroll down and choose System. 3. Select Advanced and then select Reset Options. 4. Press the Erase All Data button. How to add a fingerprint on Motorola Moto E13. If you want to set up fingerprint protection on Motorola Moto E13, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Scroll down and choose Security. 3. Now tap on the fingerprint. 4. Now choose any alternative lock screen method like pattern pin or password. 6. If the pattern method is selected as an alternate lock screen, draw the pattern press continue, redraw the pattern and press confirm. 7. Now keep your finger on the fingerprint sensor and register for the fingerprint recognition method. 8. Press the done button when done. How to add lock screen password in Motorola Moto E13. If you want to add a lock screen password on your Motorola Moto E13, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Scroll down and tap on Security. 3. Now tap on the screen lock type. 4. Select any screen lock method as per your requirement. 5. Now choose any alternative screen lock method like pattern, pin or password. 6. If the pattern method is selected as lock screen, draw the pattern press continue, redraw the pattern and press confirm. 7. At last tap on the done button. How to block any phone number on Motorola Moto E13. If you want to block or blacklist any phone number on Motorola Moto E13 then follow these steps. 1. Open the phone dialer app. 2. Tap on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen. 3. Tap on Settings to open it. 4. Now tap on Block Numbers to unlock it. 5. Tap on Add Phone Number, and enter the phone number you want to block. 6. Now tap on the, plus, symbol, hooray you have successfully blocked the number. How to change language in Motorola Moto E13. If you want to change your current language on Motorola Moto E13, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Select System and choose Language and Input. 3. Now tap on Languages. 4. Click on Add Language and select any language you prefer. 5. If you want to set it as default language, just tap on its icon and drag to the top of the list. How to enable or activate dark mode in Motorola Moto E13 Follow the steps to turn on or off dark mode on your Motorola Moto E13 smartphone. 
1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Select View and then choose Advanced. 3. Tap on the Dark Mode switch to enable it. 4. Click on Got It. 5. Well done. Dark Mode is now turned on. How to find phone IP address on Motorola Moto E13 To find the IP address on your Motorola Moto E13, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Select About Device. 3. Select Status to find the IP address. How to find phone iMy number in Motorola Moto E13 to find the iMy number on your Motorola Moto E13, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Select About Device. 3. Select the case to find the iMy details. How to enable or turn on Do Not Disturb on Motorola Moto E13. Follow the easiest way to turn on Do Not Disturb on Motorola Moto E13. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Select the sound and tap on it. 3. Tap on the Do Not Disturb tab. 4. Tap on Turn On Now to enable it. How to recover deleted contacts or data in Motorola Moto E13. If you have deleted any number by mistake and want to get it back, you can use a very powerful tool called Ease US Mobi Saver. This tool helps you recover other files such as movies, photos, MP3s, and SMS. You can also use this tool to back up your data to your computer. What to do if you forgot your Motorola Moto E13 PIN? If you forgot the PIN, please don't enter the PIN more than twice because it will block your Motorola Moto E13 by SIM card. You need to contact your service provider and ask for a puke code to unlock Motorola Moto E13. What to do if you forgot the security password for Motorola Moto E13? If you have forgotten the security password of your Motorola Moto E13 smartphone, you can always try a hard reset but by doing so you will lose all the data on your device. How do I make my Motorola Moto E13 faster? There are several ways to make your Motorola Moto E13 fast. 1. Perform an unnecessary app cleanup, delete all downloaded apps or data that you no longer use. 2. Remove pre-installed apps. These pre-installed apps take up unwanted space which can make your phone slower. 3. Try to transfer all your media files from the internal storage to an external memory card. 4. Keep your mobile phone updated. The updated software version always comes with performance improvements and removes most of the bugs that make your smartphone slow. 5. Try to restart your smartphone once a day. 6. If your phone is still slow or very slow, you can always do a factory reset. How to update Motorola Moto E13 to update Motorola Moto E13 to the latest software update, follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Settings app to open it. 2. Scroll down and tap on Software Update. 3. Now download the latest software update by clicking on the Download Now button. 4. Now click on Update Now to update the device to the latest version. 5. The phone will reboot. Please do not shut down while the phone is updating. During the update, make sure your smartphone must be at least 70% charged. What to do if Motorola Moto E13 won't turn on? If your Motorola Moto E13 does not turn on, you can try some of these steps. 1. First connect your Motorola Moto E13 to the charger and mains to rule out battery shortage issue. 2. If the phone is on, great, if not, now you can try to rest hard on your smartphone. 3. If the Motorola Moto E13 does not react to a factory reset, then it is most likely a battery issue, a faulty motherboard, or a screen issue. 4. So far there are no options left, you must go to the service center. What to do if Motorola Moto E13 fell into water? How to protect it from water damage. 
Check out Motorola Moto E13 Tips and Tricks to Protect Your Smartphone from Water Damage. 1. If your Motorola Moto E13 fell into water and turned off, please do not try to turn it on immediately to check whether it works or not as it may cause internal short circuit. 2. Please do not attempt to charge your smartphone. 3. Don't try to press all the buttons to see if they work. 4. Do not blow air into the charging or audio ports. 5. Most importantly, do not use a hair dryer or a microwave to get rid of the water. 6. If your phone is still on, make sure that it is turned off. 7. Wipe off the water with a cloth. 8. Remove the back cover, the SIM card and the memory card, and dry them with a cloth. 9. Once you've removed the back cover, SIM card, and memory card, try drying them with a vacuum cleaner instead of a hair dryer. Since the vacuum creates reverse suction and will stop water from getting anywhere else. 10. Once you are sure to remove the water, keep the bag in a bag of uncooked rice for at least two days. You can also use silica packets in place of uncooked rice. 11. Take out the mobile phone after two days and check if there is any moisture left. After making sure you can now start your smartphone. At the end of the video, I thank you for watching, and I hope you have solved the problems, and see you in a new video.